it's often convenient to begin organic chemistry uh, with the nature of intermolecular forces. Uh, here's a depiction of two um, hydrogen chloride molecules, the hydrogen and chloride, chlorine being covalently bonded, and the intermolecular force, of course, is a weak force between molecules. All matter is held together by forces. The forces between atoms within a molecule is a chemical or intramolecular force. The forces we are going to be concerned with today are the forces between molecules, or the intermolecular force. You know about intramolecular forces like ionic and covalent and polar covalent bonding. The energy it takes to overcome these forces, of course, is enthalpy. Now we will focus on the intermolecular forces, such as London dispersion forces, dipole-dipole forces, as in chloroform or hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen bonding, uh, in case in water, ammonia, hydrogen fluoride. These are all Van der Waals forces. We'll also talk about ion and ion dipole forces, as in KBr, or as an ionic salt in, in dissolving water. Intermolecular forces will be concerned with ion dipole is an ion charge dipole or charge between like sodium salvation of a cation hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding dipole dipole forces such as maybe in a is in, in um in a molecule with a, a, a polar covalent molecule ion induced dipole uh, that might be um, resonant in a complex ion formation, iron with oxygen, iron with carbon monoxide, um, some, some transition metals surrounded uh, with back bonding, carbon monoxide. Um, dipole induced intermolecular forces between, let's say, uh, CO2 and hydrogen chloride in the gas phase, and London dispersion forces, which these are polarizable electron clouds. Intermolecular forces are weaker, of course, than intramolecular forces, chemical bonds. This distinction is the reason we define the molecule in the first place. The properties of matter result from the properties of the individual molecule and how molecules act collectively. Intermolecular forces are longest ranged when they are electrostatic. Interaction of charged monopoles is the longest range electrostatic force, charge charge forces, such that, as that found in ionic crystals. Here's the equation for a charge charge force. And this is an ionic crystal lattice. Charge dipole forces for charges like plus plus or minus minus, this force is always repulsive. But unlike charges, this force is always attractive. Charged dipole forces are an un, in an unchanged molecule can still have an electric dipole moment. Here's a chart of experimental dipole moments measured in the gas phase of methane and uh, substituted um, um, methane um, groups, methanol, the dipole moment of 1.7. Methylene fluoride, the dipole moment of 1.85, as the electronegativity of that group um, increases, so does the dipole moment. Dipole moments measured in the gas phase. The molecule itself does not have a charge, but different electronegativities of the constituent atoms may make the molecule polar. What is charged dipole forces? An uncharged molecule can still have an electric dipole moment. Electric dipoles arise from opposite but equal charges separated by a distance. Molecules that possess a dipole moment are called polar molecules. Water is a polar molecule with a dipole moment of 1.85 Debye. Again, here's our introductory picture. Again, covalent and intramolecular forces, covalent, ionic. Intermolecular forces are weak, are much weaker than the than the covalent bond or ionic bond in a molecule. The Debye is our unit of interest and is 
a unit of dipole moment as ha it has a value of 3.336 times 10 to the minus 30 coulomb meter. Electric dipoles arise from opposite but equal charges. This is the water molecule. And when salt is dissolved in water, the ions of the salt disassociate from each other and associate with the dipole of the water molecules. This results in a solution called an electrolyte. And this is salvation of the sodium cation. This will aid the theory of salvation, salvation energy, will aid in our discussion of charge dipole forces. The force. The force may be understood by decomposing each of the dipole into two equal but opposite charges and adding up the resulting charge charge force. Notice that the charge dipole forces depend on relative molecular orientation. This means that the forces can be attractive or repul repulsive depending on whether like or unlike charges are closer together. Here's a depiction of that. Uh, in part A of this uh, diagram is a um, minus plus minus plus arrangement uh, uh, attraction. The repulsion, repulsion is going to, of course, occur from um, positive positive interactions or negative negative interactions, like in the lower portion of this diagram. In a liquid, on average, dipoles in a liquid orientate themselves to form attractive interactions with their neighbors. But thermal motion makes some instances configuration existingly fleeting. So it's going to line up minus plus, minus plus, minus plus. And a liquid is going to, liquid and, and solids, liquids probably might be more arranged, but liquids are going to, might, might suffer uh, from, from um, a little distortion. Dipole, dipole forces exist between neutral polar molecules. Again, this force may be understood by decomposing each of the dipoles into two equal but opposite charges and adding up the resulting charge charge forces. And here's a table. Here's a table of the dipole moment on the effect of boiling point. A propane um, having a dipole moment of 0 0.1 to buy, boiling point 231 degrees Kelvin. Uh, Conversely, with chloromethane, um, although its molecular mass has increased uh, by six grams per mole, the uh, the by is increased by almost double to uh, to two to by, and its boiling point, of course, is increased over to 249 degrees Kelvin. Electrostatic forces are defined by the symmetry of the partners involved in the interaction. This symmetry is labeled by the first non-zero moment of the charge distribution. This is an example of electric quadrupole, which also can also a, a, a phenomenon that we're dealing with. Electrostatic forces cannot explain the whole story, but molecules that are round and have no charge, no electrostatic forces between each other, how then do round molecules form liquids and solids? They do so by inductive forces. Inductive forces arise from the distortion of the charge cloud induced by the presence of another molecule nearby. This distortion arises from the electric field produced by the charge distribution of a nearby molecule. 